What's going on, folks? It is Case Spade the Prospect. Back today with a brand new episode of Monsters of the Midway. My Chicago Bears reveal series here in Madden 18, as you guys can see. Our Bears are kind of not having the best season. Six wins, seven losses. The last game was against the Cincinnati Bengals. I played longer minutes in that game, so I didn't bring it to you guys. And I think two or three times a season, I'm going to play longer minutes just so the stats are kind of balanced out. However, that game did not go well for us. A.J. Green had a ball against this Chicago secondary. But the Bears are back in action tonight in Detroit against the 2 and 11 Lions. This is a team that is not having a great season. At the same time, it's a divisional opponent, so you know they're going to come out play tough. Looks like the Bears want to start this game off establishing a run game, and I don't understand why they would want to do anything other than that. The way Jordan Howard has been running the ball as of late as he breaks the tackle. Sprints into the open field. Nobody's going to catch him. The 10 to 5. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard on his second carry of the game takes it all the way to the house. That's how you want to start the game today. That's how you want to start the game today. A couple of defenders got their hands on Howard. Neither one could bring him down. And we get our first look at Brad Kaya, Matthew Stafford's backup quarterback, and the Detroit offense. Now, Kaya's been getting the start for the last few weeks. And even though it's not translating into wins, the rookie's been actually slinging the pigskin pretty nice. Like, he looks okay back there. You see on first and 10, they go to the F. Pick up the first. After that first down, they go back to the play action. Kaya has all day in the pocket. He checks it down, and he ends up getting the first. So two passes, 26 yards. So far, Brad Kaya looks like he's in control of the situation. They put it on the ground, get it outside. Theo Riddick doing enough to get the first down. Not a really big run right here, but gets five yards on this first carry of the day, and the drive continues. First and 10, why not go back to the air? And I like the way they changed the offense for Kaya over here in Detroit. All of his reads are quick, or if it is a deep, long route, they make sure they give him multiple check down options in that play. And they're just putting the right stuff around this guy so that he can look okay. I want to say so he can look successful, but they got they got a 2-11 record, so they're not looking that successful. Third and short, Kaya with time in the pocket, checking it down again. Theo Riddick making the catch. Get in the rack and getting them down inside the red zone. So Detroit's first drive is looking like so far it's a success. Third and short from the four. Kaya drops back, empty backfield. Quick strike across the middle. Touchdown Detroit. And Brad Kaya leads his team straight down the field and score on their first drive of the day. We got a 7-7 football game. This is one of those games that you can throw the records out, throw the stats out. I don't care who, like what big names you got. Forget all that. It's two teams that don't really like each other. They play each other twice a year, and they are trying to out-scheme each other. When you face a team this often, you kind of know their strengths and their weaknesses. You know what they like to do, and this is when you get a really good football game. Third and seven, Trubisky goes across the middle to Wheaton. He's going to pick up about six right here. We've seen this before. They elect to go forward, fourth and short. The front five can't get it done. You see the pressure comes right through. Jordan Howard is hit actually for a loss on the play. You're turning the ball over, giving Brad Kai in the Lions offense half a field. And they just showed you that they really got the firepower to march straight down the field. They put it on the ground right here on second down. Big time hit. The big fella coming up through the middle, cracking Theo Riddick, and Riddick is down. Grasping at his arm. I don't know how serious this injury is, but they are definitely going to get him off the field, take him back in the locker room, and get a look at him. Matt Abdullah is subbed in for this guy. Third and 10. Beautiful pass on the sideline. Even better catch. Brad Kaya is 10 of 10. Got to be kidding me. Third and short, they just handed off for Mayor Abdullah. Didn't have to make a move at all. The offensive line did all the hard work. I could have ran a touchdown through that O-line. And Detroit takes the lead. 14-7. Everybody's looking over there at the Bears coaching staff like, you sure you wanted to go for it on fourth now? Bears offense back on the field. Trubisky hits his mark right in the numbers, but that's a great defensive play. Darius Slay is out there on the wide receiver's back, jarring the ball loose, and on third and ten, why not take a strike to Cameron Meredith, but the coverage out there is A1, no catch on the play. It's punter on the field this time, and now Detroit back on the field with an opportunity to possibly go up 21-7. to Kaya dancing around in the pocket, throws a pitch. Beautiful interception. This is a linebacker diving, laying out, making the catch right there, and this is what you need. 
Somebody's got to force the turnover. The offense kind of put you guys in a bad spot. Now you have to make plays. Screen play on first and 10. First drive on this possession. Check it down to Jordan Howard. Let him make moves. He's going to pick up about five or six on that play. Second and four right across the middle. Wheaton had his hands on it. Beautiful throw by Trubisky. Wheaton couldn't hold on to it. Puts him in a third and short situation. Trubisky back. Stepping into the throw, taking a big time hit and just taking the shot at his target. Cameron Meredith, one on one. You hot point it, you let the big receiver go up and make a play. Touchdown, Chicago. tell you if you're a young quarterback one of the best things you can have is a big play receiver that you can hop on it to or a super reliable tight end these are quarterbacks best friends anyway but especially a young rookie quarterback or a young inexperienced quarterback is their best friend that wasn't even a great read right there but cam meredith big guy he likes a hey, receivers think they open all the time anyway cameron meredith has told mitchell trubisky throw it up let me make a play and it works for him right there 14 14 game Lions on the field, third down. Play action pass. Kaya gets destroyed on that bootleg play. Right after play action, rolled out. I like what they're doing, though. They're moving the pocket around to try to buy Kaya more time. He took a big hit there, but they pick up the first. They come back right here. That's another ill advised pass for Brad Kaya. Trevathan was right there. He never saw him. Comes up with the pick. He's got a chance to return it. Kaya's showing some speed, but he get there a little too late. Touchdown, Chicago. Danny Trevathan with the pick six. The Chicago defense is here. how much you can blame Brad Kaya for. That's an amazing interception. You got a linebacker diving, laying out, making a catch. That one right there is a rookie mistake. Kaya never saw Trevathan, who was right there in the zone the whole time, made a great catch. I give Kaya a lot of credit for the effort he showed to try to prevent that touchdown, but that's just a bad read. Second and nine, Kaya across the middle, hitting his mark right there, but these receivers don't want to get hit as soon as they catch the football. They're going to have to do something a little bit better, but he's going to start seeing some drops out there. First and 10, under two minutes to go before the half. That's a beautiful pass. Found a little bit of window, threw it right over the head of Jarrell Freeman. Kind of playing with fire though. These backers have been trying to jump these passes all day. First and 10, tons of time in the pocket for Kaya. He finds a safe check down. You see what I'm saying about these routes? They make sure he's got at least a couple of check downs, it seems like, on every single route. Goes back to the air right here. Hey, that's a beautiful catch. Way to fight after the catch. Get him more yards. Get in the first. Getting out of bounds. Under a minute to go. Inside the red zone. Kaya with time in the pocket. Standing there. Throws a beautiful pass. Look at the touch on that pass. Touchdown Detroit. Look at Brad Kaya. Who knew? Matthew Stafford might have a fight getting his job back once he returns from injury. That touchdown pass right there ties this game up for 21 apiece, and that's a great place for us to go ahead and take it into the half. Two different ways of attacking. Just under 100 yards rushing for Chicago. 200 yards passing for Brad Kaya and the Detroit offense. This is crazy. Third quarter looks like they want to keep it on the ground. Amir Abdullah still getting the snap. I haven't seen what's going on with Theo Riddick, but it looks like it's a pretty serious injury. Second and six. The offensive line did the best they could do, but that's a covered sack. Nobody was open. Kaya's just holding it. And finally, Big Young gets to him. Jay Young gets back there for the sack. Third and 12, Kaya had a receiver wide open. Missed the mark. Had his tight end there. The pressure was on him. Couldn't get the pass to him. So now we get our look at Chicago's offense. They got an opportunity to take the lead right here. And if I know like I know, they really want to get this running game back popping. Let's see what they do. They give it to Jordan Howard. Straight up the gut. I mean, he's getting 8 to 10 before a defender is even touching him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Later in that drive on third down, oh, Trubisky's looking like Kaya right here. The receiver was inside the defensive back, had the lane for the pass, and he just missed him. Folks, let's not forget, we got two rookie quarterbacks out here throwing this football, and we got a great game. 21-21, under three minutes to go in the third. Both teams still got a lot of fight. Both defenses are fighting, and both of these young quarterbacks look pretty good. 
really got to give Brad Kaya his credit. He has thrown two interceptions. Let's not forget the pick six. But other than that, the guy has been dang right surgical in the pocket. The pressure gets to him right here. Pernell McPhee, this guy right here, will get to your quarterback. And we're going to take another look at this one. You can see that not only did he get to Kaya, he kind of put a little something behind that hit. Trying to let that rookie know, hey, man, <laughs> you in the big leagues now. Third and forever. Brad Kaya drops back. They got the screenplay dialed up. I like the idea. I don't know that you're going to get 17 yards on it. Yeah, I know Amir Abdul is a speedster. You get him into the open field, let him make a play. But that's a lot of yards. Chicago offense back on the field. Trubisky going to the air. That pass looks super risky, but the last three or four weeks, the play this team has been getting out of Kevin White is just surprising. We knew Kevin White had some speed. We knew he was a taller body, but he's been really snagging in tough catches. First and 10, Trubisky's got his favorite receiver one-on-one. -on -one. He beats the coverage. No safety over the top. Cameron Meredith in the end zone for the second time today. Touchdown, Chicago! I'm telling you guys, Trubisky likes the chemistry he has with Meredith. If there's nobody over the top, they're going to try it. Is there always a catch? No. Is there always a touchdown? Of course not. But is there always worth trying? Absolutely. 28-21 is your score here late in the game. We're in the fourth quarter, folks. Detroit is still fighting. Brad Kaya is still slinging the pig skin. Almost 30 pass attempts so far. It's crazy. First and 10, they go to the air again. Kaya standing there, standing there on the run, delivers a strike while running, hitting his target. Golden Tate's having a pretty good game today, too. Big time catch, first and 10, Detroit. Kaya from the gun again. Look at all the passing Detroit is doing. This is crazy. And that's just too much time. You can't give any quarterback this time. Rookie, veteran, it don't matter. That is too much time. You can see what I'm saying. Golden Tate, eight receptions for 109 and a touch. That boy eating. First and 10, Kaya in the pocket, standing there forever. The pressure is getting to him, and that's what I'm talking about. If you can't get to the quarterback, you make his offensive lineman sack him. That's a bull rush. Just pushing the offensive lineman into the quarterback he's protecting. Kaya trying to get out of the pocket right here. He gets rid of the football, but it goes nowhere. Detroit has to settle for three, and this is the first time we've seen the field goal kickers get into the action. Now it's just under five minutes to go. Trubisky's making some pre-snap changes. He drops back. He likes Kevin White on this route and he misses the mark. I like it though. He saw Kevin White one-on-one. -on -one. Knows that he's a fast guy. Tried to take advantage of it and it didn't work. They come back and put it on the ground. Detroit was right there waiting for it. It's almost like somebody told him to play. Third and 12 for Trubisky. He drops back. Quick strike across the middle. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at that catch. Kevin White is making tough catches. Fourth and short, I'm not really sure why Chicago wants to go for it, but they do, and Jordan Howard makes it a smart decision. Beautiful run. He's over 100 yards on the day. Late in that drive on third down, Trubisky dancing around, going for his target one-on-one -on -one again, and he gets Cameron Meredith again. I can't believe it. Look at Caldwell. He is upset. Meredith is having a field day over there. They put it on the ground. Howard gets into the end zone. You know what, folks? Detroit would throw a couple of more punches. They would try to hang around, but ultimately, we can pull the curtains on Detroit right here. Chicago gets a much-needed win here to go to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. They are going to push for that 9-7 and seven season that might buy them a wild card spot into the postseason. You never know. I take my hat off to Brad Kaya. It's a hell of a game for a rookie QB. At the end of the day, the big play playmakers for Chicago made better plays. Great game from Jordan Howard, great game from Cameron Meredith, and a great game from the Chicago defense. The second half tells the story, folks. 14-3 after the break, and that's going to get you guys a 35-24 win for the Chicago Bears. I'm K. Spade, the prospect, signing off from Detroit, Michigan. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe, and I'm out to the next time, folks. Peace.